I remember, I was 2003, and uh, it was one of these, just like I was describing, it was an, one of these loading operations where they had the, the missile tube on top of the submarine. And in this case, they, they had a winch in there, and they had it um, set up. Uh, it was, they, they were hooked onto the missile, ready to pull it out of the submarine. And it was coffee time. So the, you know, the sailors went and had their coffee break. And when they came back, they forgot that they left a ladder in the missile tube. So they started to winch it up, winch the missile up, and the ladder went through the nose cone. And it was, you know, in, within inches of, of the warheads. And it wasn't, it didn't come out until months later um, that this accident had happened. Well, actually, what had happened was one commander had been fired and if I remember this right, one commander was fired because I remember I did a public records act was saying, asking what happened to this guy. Um, but it came, became public because the Navy was going to court-martial the sailors um, on, the, you know, on the explosive handling wharf that were handling it. And so they, this is what I hear anyway, they, they leaked the information to a person who went to the media um, and that's how it came out. Like I say, I think it was March 2004 that the information came out, and it might have been November 2003 when the accident was. And what the, the director of the Kitsap County Emergency Management said when she heard about it, she said, I didn't know about it until I read about it in the newspaper, and it must not have been that big a deal because the Navy would have told me if I needed to know. But um, they shut down, they, they fired three commanders at Swift Pack as a result of the accident. And they shut down all uh, uh, nuclear uh, warhead handling at this at the Swift Pack for um, a couple of months anyway before they were recertified. So it was a very big deal. Um, that, I mean, there's there's even supposedly the president was notified. I mean, that was one report. Uh, that was a, I don't know. I guess it'd be a broken arrow or something, and the, and the president was notified. But I, I, you know, I have no idea on that. But we do know three, three uh, commanders were were sacked, um, and they shut down warhead handling operations for a couple months.